Hey guys, even here, and in today's video, we got a couple of very interesting bodybuilding updates. The first one, as you can see, is about Hari Chopin. Now, yesterday, Hari posted a little training video in which he was posing a little and flexing, but he was wearing a tank top. And so today, he did exactly the same thing that Andrew Jack did yesterday. He also first posted a couple of photos in a tank top, in which he looked really impressive, and then the next day he posted a shirtless photo, and Hardy did exactly the same thing right here. And as you can see, he is looking pretty freaking crazy. And so here he says, hello, my dear, how are you? How many kilos is my brother? I'm um, 220 kilos. I don't know what this means, I have no idea, he doesn't weigh 220 kilos, but it's a usual Hari Japan joke, it probably doesn't translate from his language, I don't know, I guess it's open for interpretation, if you guys have any idea what this means, uh, comment down below, but as far as his physique, let's pay attention to that, actually, not to Hari's sense of humor, so once again, as far as his physique, he looks absolutely nuts right now. And he's 11 weeks out of Mr. Olympia. And honestly, this conditioning right now is, I would say, kind of like maybe three weeks out of his conditioning at last year's Mr. Olympia 2023. Of course, he has a long way to go before he is in Arnold Classic conditioning. But I can tell you right away, he is going to be better than he was last year at the Mr. Olympia. Like I mentioned before... There are a couple of things that may go wrong this year with Hari. You know, like atrophy that happened to, for example, Big Ramy. And it happened to many bodybuilders. Like, it's usually like all of a sudden. One year looking great, and the next year you see a couple of body parts uh, being gone. So, I mean, it's probably not gonna happen. It doesn't happen that often, but I'm a little bit paranoid after seeing what happened to Big Ramy in one year. So, I don't know, I guess it can happen to anybody at any time, and Hadi, again, is not a spring chicken, like, he has been doing this game for a long, long time, it's not that he is that old, I think he's like uh, 36 at this point, and he's turning uh, 37 this year, it doesn't have to mean anything, like, Ronnie Coleman was at his prime at this age, late Sean Roden actually won the Mr. Olympia at 43, but Sean Roden was natural, I believe, until he was like 30 or 29, something like that. And he started bodybuilding seriously late. Hadi has been like a top bodybuilder for a long, long time. Even before he came to the IBB Pro League, he was still dominating in the amateur league. And actually in his part of the world, it really pays to be an amateur bodybuilder. So like he was very good even before he turned pro and actually uh, came to the US and to the IBB Pro League. So he has been doing this for a long, long time, and I don't think he has that many years left. Again, he could be another case of Dexter Jackson, like he could be very good until he's 50, we don't know, but it can happen, like every year it can happen. However, this year, as far as his upper body, at least, from the front, he looks very good. Like he's not losing any fullness, any size, any roundness, shape, anything like that. Like, yeah, we can see his back and his legs, but guys, he competed very recently. He just did the Arnold Classic a couple of months ago, so he was training very hard in preparation for that show and also after that show, and he's very hungry to win the title back again. He didn't take that loss very well, you guys remember, so I'm pretty sure he's very much driven right now. He wants to win that title again, and I'm sure he's training super hard. So honestly, what I think we can expect from Hadi is for him to look his absolute best. Now, there is the thing of like his shoulders, and I would say his arms, because we all know, it's very noticeable that he puts something in them. And also we know from experience of other bodybuilders, when you put a lot of stuff in your muscle, you create a lot of scar tissue, necrosis starts to happen, and uh, eventually you kind of lose the volume in those muscles. So I'm kind of waiting for the moment when that's gonna start happening to Hadi, but I'm not seeing it. After all these years, I'm not seeing it at all. I guess that's because he's training like a maniac all year round, because he's so driven, because he's a freaking monster in the gym. So I think Hadi this year is coming very, very strong, and as long as he looks the way he was looking at the Arnold Classic last year, actually this year, 
he is the favorite in my opinion. It's not Derek Lunsford. I know Derek is the winner and he's defending his title, but lately I don't think it means much. And it's not like he won, you know, five titles or three titles. He doesn't have a legacy. It could have been a fluke. So I don't think that has anything to do with like who is the favorite. I think Hardy is the favorite. But we got a couple of dark horses, like Andrew Jack, like Samson Dauda, like Nick Walker, like Rubiel Mosquera maybe even. So like there are a lot of guys who could surprise, but if I'm playing it safe, this guy right here, especially after seeing this update, is the favorite to win the Mr. Olympia, to become the new Mr. Olympia who reclaimed their title. After Jay Cutler, Hari Japan is going to be the next one who does that. Is he going to do it? Tell me guys down below, what do you think? In my opinion, it's most likely gonna happen. Alright, next up, finally, we got a current physique update from Regan Grimes. It's not much, it's only his best body part, his back, but we can still get the idea of what his body fat percent is right now, and his size as well. So right now, he's traveling the world, he's in China, what is he doing over there? I have no idea, but I'm pretty sure he's just promoting his supplement brand. But regardless, he's traveling. He's traveling a lot. He's definitely the guy that is not like all the time at home and just trying to improve and trying to train hard and just eat the food and that's all. No, no, no. Regan is a different type of a bodybuilder. He enjoys life in many aspects aside from bodybuilding. For example, Kian Pearson is a great example of somebody who is like not traveling a lot, not promoting the sport a lot, but he's focused on improving his physique all year around. And Regan is the polar opposite of that. So right now, as far as Regan's physique, like he did say in that Jay Cutler podcast that he is not planning on competing this year which is pretty visible, pretty obvious, but his plan is also to compete next year, but later in the year, and to me it sounded like he might not even compete next year, but we'll see about that. Anyways, his wife is pregnant, he wants to focus on that, on being there with his wife, on being a father, but you know, as far as bodybuilding, I don't think he is putting that much effort into it, and it's kind of showing in this physique update. I'm assuming he's off right now, maybe not completely off, maybe just on TRT, something like that, because he really did lose, you know, a lot of size, a lot of volume. Like, uh, this physique, if you showed me this physique and you told me this is a classy guy, I would be like, okay, he doesn't look any bigger than, I don't know, let's say Wesley Visters right now. I'm pretty sure Wesley, if he stood next to Regan at this point, he would probably dwarf him, you know, he would probably be bigger. So, I mean, Regan is, of course, bigger when he's ready for the stage, once he does, like, a complete prep, so, like, he is definitely a bigger bodybuilder, he is, like, a top 9 at the Mr. Olympia, he won multiple pro shows, but right now, right now, he seems smaller, he definitely doesn't look like he's focused on his off-season, on improving, he's probably just taking a little bit of rest, which could be exactly what he needs, you know, he's not that kind of a bodybuilder that enjoys only bodybuilding all the time. So if he did that, he would probably burn out. Which is very unfortunate. I believe he has the potential to win the Mr. Olympia, but he needs to be as focused as, uh, let's say, Nick Walker. Or at least, like, Samson Daura. You guys know that Samson Daura is, like, 80% on a diet and 20% he eats whatever he wants. He relaxes a little, he travels a little, but he's very much focused. Like, not 100% like Nick Walker, like Keon Pearson, but, like, he's almost there. If Regan was like that, I could, st I could see him, like, being one of the top guys in a couple of years. But at this pace, I don't know, man. I feel like he's wasting his potential. But it is what it is. He does what he wants. Whatever you guys think about his physique right now, tell me down below. Alright, and finally, since I already mentioned him, we got a physique update from Wesley Vissers, and this is from a couple of, actually, I think two days ago, at 11 and a half weeks out of Mr. Olympia, and in this physique update, it seems like Wesley is sharpening up, but more importantly, it looks like his chest is very symmetrical. If you follow my channel, you probably saw those two physique updates uh, in like two weeks apart. In one of those photos, first one was a mirror photo, and one pack uh, seemed smaller than the other one. I thought it was just the angle or the mirror, but then two weeks later he posted another photo, different lighting, different spot, not in the mirror, and on that photo one of his packs also looked smaller. So in this physique update, 
I don't see it. Like here in the most muscular, you could say maybe here he can hide it because it's a most muscular shot. Maybe he found a good lighting, but look at the front relaxed. I don't notice any asymmetry here. So what the hell was that? Well, I guess a freaky coincidence. <laughs> what are the chances? Anyways, Wesley Vissers right now with 11 and a half weeks out of Mr. Olympia is definitely sharpening up. And this is Wesley at like, I don't know, let's say 20-30% like Harry Japan likes to say. He still has ways to go to peak his physique. And at the Mr. Olympia stage, it's gonna be a very, very interesting battle. So guys, stay tuned, subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. If you enjoyed this one, give it a thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you soon. All the best, guys, and bye-bye.